Your DinoJet Dynamometer is engineered to provide accurate and repeatable results run after run. Follow these procedures to ensure safe and consistent dyno operation. First, let's look at the handheld pendant control. It allows you to turn the dyno brake on or off, start and stop sampling, adjust the load control set point, and turn it on and off. On DinoJet models equipped with load control, the eddy current brake will serve as the brake to slow the drum, and the air brake will engage at speeds under 10 miles per hour to stop and lock the drum in place. There are advanced load control options selectable in the menu. After properly loading and strapping the vehicle to the dyno, before making a high-speed run, begin making a test run. Open Power Core and go to WinPEP 8 Dyno Control. Put the vehicle in low gear and use the red button on the pendant to release the dyno brake. Slowly accelerate the vehicle while watching the WinPEP 8 Dyno Control screen on the monitor. Verify RPM matches the vehicle's RPM and that any additional gauge data is working. If not, stop the vehicle and go to the appropriate configuration menu. Use the red button to apply the dyno brake and do not use the vehicle's brakes. Once you're satisfied, stop the drum using the brake button, turn off the vehicle, and do a final check of the tires, alignment on the drum, and adjust your straps as necessary. With the engine warmed up to normal operating temperature, verify the dyno is connected with all WinPEP 8 dyno control gauges functioning. WinPEP 8 automatically loads the last virtual gauge template used, and you can customize and save your own layouts if you prefer. For vehicles with a manual transmission, put it in first gear and let out the clutch to start the drum rolling. Work up through the gears at low throttle until you reach the transmission's 1 to 1 gear ratio, typically fourth gear, and hold the engine RPM at the beginning RPM for your run. This hold point will depend on the vehicle being tested. For example, a diesel's hold point will be much lower than a gas engine. There are other factors to consider, such as maximum RPM, power band, and power adders such as turbos. For vehicles with an automatic transmission, start the drum rolling and accelerate at part throttle and shift to the one-to-one -one gear if possible, or accelerate until you feel the vehicle shift to the one-to-one -one gear. If the converter has a lockup clutch, it's best to make the run with the clutch engaged. This limits the slippage in the drivetrain and transmits the most power to the drive wheels. When you're ready, roll into the throttle all the way open and press the green sampling button once you're at 100% wide open. The status bar will say logging, the run timer will start, and the green indicator light will come on. Once the engine has accelerated to your desired cutoff, press the green sampling button again, then let off the accelerator. Press the red button to slow the drum down, watching the engine RPM gauge and pressing the button again to release the brakes as you near your RPM test starting point for the next run. Starting and stopping the sample while under full power will help produce cleaner dynograph results. You will want to perform a minimum of two runs and continue on as necessary until two sequential runs show consistent power or the following run drops off in power output. Every vehicle is different. Some may make more power with more runs, and others will not. You will do this by checking each dyno run preview graph that is displayed after each run is sampled. When you're finished, use the red button on the pendant to engage the dyno brake and bring the drum to a stop. Leave the brake on as it keeps the drum locked, and once the tires are stopped, put the vehicle in gear or park and engage the parking brake. Do not use the vehicle's brakes except in an emergency situation as it will severely overheat brake components. WinPEP 8 will automatically switch to a graph displaying the previous run once you click the Save button on the Save Run File dialog box. The Pendant button in the middle of the plus keypad with the bump on it also acts to activate the highlighted Save button. Runs will be saved and numbered sequentially in the directory you chose previously. They're numbered starting with underscore 1. Once the graph has been viewed, press the rounded up button to return to the dyno control screen. Repeat these steps to make another run, which will be saved with the next number in sequence. For dyno tech and sales support, call us toll free at 800-992-3525 or visit us online at dynojet.com.